Hey y'all, long time no see. I know I have been MIA. If you've been keeping up with any of my videos from last year, you guys know I had a major surgery last year. I had a myomectomy because I had fibroid tumors, ended up having 18 of them, and I really have not posted since then. I've been chilling, enjoying the holidays, and enjoying my family, and just, I've been chilling. I normally take a break at the end of the year, but that just like gave me a jump start to take the break earlier. But anyway, as you guys can see at the title of this video, I am doing a review of the Dyson Supersonic Dryer. If you don't know anything about this dryer, this dryer is super expensive. I actually bought me one when Sephora was having their 20% off sale. I bought the holiday edition one. And then they sent us Christmas gifts because I, if you don't know, if you're new to my channel, I am a part of the 2021 Sephora squad and we get PR boxes. But they sent us Christmas gifts and look at what they sent. To this thing so what's so like uh dope about this and what gets it a lot of raves by youtubers is that it's small boom <laughs> it looks really cool and it's supposed to be fast drying but not a lot of heavy heat like what does their little tag say fast drying no extreme heat so that's like the tagline for this thing so basically for people who are afraid of heat damage this is supposed to be the dryer Boom. So it comes with like your regular, like, I don't know, what do they call it? A styling attachment if you wanna do the tension method, which is the primary way I go through and stretch my hair. Well, not anymore, cause my hair is pretty healthy. I don't mind using the comb attachment if, uh, you know, I'm trying to hurry up here and get through it. Then it has the gentle air attachment. Not sure how that quite works, but I'll show y'all it. Then it has a diffuser and then it has a wide tooth comb attachment, which is what I'm gonna try to use today. If that doesn't work, we're gonna end up using the styling it's a concentrator that's what it's called but I end up using the concentrator attachment and just do the tension method or take a brush and just kind of you know brush and blow but then it also has this new thing that they've been advertising the flyaway attachment and they have a picture on the box um i don't i don't know if this for us i know it's not for naturals like in your natural state but um i guess for straight hair you can go through and do that little number but i don't straighten my hair Talking about doing it this year, but don't hold me to it. And this is it. Cool, nice and little. This is the concentrator attachment. Nice and sleek. Everything is like so little. I love it. It's little. It's little, but it ain't flimsy. This thing like some thick plastic. Oh, this is pretty heavy too. This is the diffuser. And this is the gentle air attachment. I'm not quite sure what makes it gentle air because it's not supposed to be um, extreme heat anyway, but it, this is it, y'all. This little thing right there. How can it make it gentle? I don't, I don't know. Is that the right side? Ah. Y'all can tell I don't be paying attention to ain't nobody else's reviews. But tell it. Oh. <laughs> Tried it. Hold on, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Magnetized, okay. And this is what I wanna use right here. Comb attachment. I don't know about this, it ain't got a, oh, well it got a little bit of give this way, but not that way. We gonna see how this works on my hair. I'm actually filming a whole start to finish video um, on my styling. So if you guys want to see the styling video, I'm pretty sure this is going to go up first. You can go back on my channel in like a week or a month or so and you'll be able to see what style I ended up doing in the end. And this is that flyaway thing. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead. I feel like I dragged the beginning of this video out long enough. I hate being that person where that's one thing y'all love about me. I normally just hop right straight into a, this is what it do and this is how it is, but not so much when I do these talking videos. I normally can do that when I'm doing voiceovers, but when I get to talking, I just get to talking. So let's go ahead and get into this dryer. All right, y'all, so I got it all plugged up. One thing I will say about this already that I like, this cord 
It's longer than my other dryer. I don't know if it's abnormally long, but it's longer than the dryer that I got. So I love the fact that it's long and I can just like move around with it. This right here is the actual like heat setting. It has three heat settings and there's like LED lights when you plug it up that give you your heat speeds. Um, I put my, I already cut it on and stuff and put my hand on it. It didn't get very, very hot on that third, the highest setting, um, but it got a good speed, but it didn't get like a, ooh, I gotta snatch my hand back hot. Um, this right here controls the, uh, I guess, wind or the blow power. Um, and that is what makes this dryer allegedly dry so fast. It blows, it has some kind of enhanced technology, intelligent technology in it. Um, down in here, you got the little filter or whatever, but it has this kind of enhanced technology that blows really, really fast. And that's what's drying your hair versus relying on the heat to dry your hair. It's the wind from the dryer that's making it go really, really fast. This is the on and off switch. This right here is the cool feature. Um, down here, you have the removable filter. It says you need to clean the filter out. As you guys can see, that was real easy to just pop out and then you just slide the filter out. And then, real easy, it's a real easy thing to assemble. But I just take the attachment, stick it in. Again, it's a, uh, the little magnetic thing um it has that long piece that goes in there so i guess when you're like doing textured hair if it allegedly if it glides through like it's supposed to <laughs> it won't just like pop out but um i actually forgot i am deep conditioning right now so let me go rinse this deep conditioner out and then i can go through and show you guys how this thing uh blow dries All right just rinsed out my deep conditioner and I'm gonna give y'all, you know, it wouldn't be me if I didn't give y'all some tips. This is, this is a hair styling tool review. Um, one tip that my stylist told me is go through and tile blotch your hair before you put that dryer on there so that when you're drying, there's not like soaking wet water that you're working with. So it's gonna dry faster anyway. Another tip she told me is don't be putting a whole bunch of product on your hair before you start drying because that's when it starts steaming and holding on the heat and that's how you end up with heat damage. She was like, think about it. If you put oil and heat, what does oil do when you put heat to it? It fry. So she got me together with that. So um, I'm actually just gonna be putting on a little, 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 cause I can't help myself, a little smidge of uh, leave-in conditioner on there. And then I'm gonna be putting on my heat protector. Both of which are gonna be lightweight products anyway though. So I don't feel too guilty, but let her tell it, just do a, uh, a good heat protectant and you should be good as long as you're using like a styler that has some kind of moisture to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my hair in my sections. Just a little bit of leave-in conditioner, just a little bit. I'm just literally applying a little bit in case she's watching this and shaking her head right now. <laughs> All right, y'all, let's see what it do. I'm gonna just go ahead and do high heat, high uh, wind and see what happens. You see, I don't know if y'all can tell because the camera, but it's really not that loud. Uh-oh. Oh yeah, this slides right through. I mean, like, I can't even, like, feel it cool on my hair. Okay. I ain't using that blueberry, no more. Literally, this did not do any kind of like pulling on my hair at all. And y'all know what I'm talking about. You know, you go through, you got that jar. It kind of feel like it's like, uh, as you're going down, it didn't do none of that. Did not do none of that. And I'm an editor, don't even go through and fast forward through me blow drying just now. That's it. Fully, fully dry. 
fully dry and my hair still soft. And it wasn't even a lot of steaming because sometimes with my other dryer, my fire alarm would go off. It didn't. Oh yeah, 10 out of 10. This just told me I need my ends trimmed though. But 10 out of 10. Worth every penny, y'all. Oh, and on top of that, this ain't hot. My hair didn't get hot. 10 out of 10. I'm kind of whispering a little bit because my boyfriend knows I'm asleep. But 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Go on and get you one. If you don't like it, cuss me out in my DMs. 10 out of 10. Now, I will tell y'all, I did detangle my hair first. But still, even when I detangle my hair, my other dryer, it still be pulling a little bit, especially at the ends. And I didn't feel like I had to keep going through my ends over and over and over again. 10 out of 10. I have no complaints. None. None whatsoever. I'm going to go ahead and do the next section. I just did this whole side of my head and I feel like I just did this in like 10 minutes like 10 minutes and it's flat normally when I blow dry my hair it's like a lion's mane it don't ever lay this flat yeah 10 out of 10 and my hair feel good it don't feel dried out like I love this thing I do so y'all will be seeing more uh heat curls from me I'm doing bantu knots flexi rods perm rods need my ends trim though I'm gonna go in the bathroom and do that in a minute <laughs> but yeah i rock with this thing i will have a link in my um description box directly to this one that i have i don't think they have the holiday one anymore i would keep watching for sales maybe with sephora but i'm gonna have the link anyway you guys can shop through like my actual y'all know i'm on the sephora squad it's on like my actual sephora squad link i'm gonna have that in the description box that concludes this review uh, I know some people are watching this and they're like, oh, I can't see myself paying three, four hundred dollars for no hair dryer. This video was not for you. I don't know why you even clicked. It was not for you. This is for people who would, could see themselves spending that much on a blow dryer if it was that bomb. And to me, this was worth every penny, even though I returned mine and I technically got this one for free. This this would have been worth every penny so even if you gotta wait until next holiday season to get that 20 percent off or their next little sephora robe whatever sale all access whatever they be calling it it's worth saving your coins for it put it on afterpay put it on klarna do what you gotta do it is worth it especially if you're a natural who likes to do stretch styles because a lot of people want to get stretched hair they want to get uh elongated curls they like their curls they don't like how tight they are using a dryer does it however of course, we all know that using dryers can come with heat damage. I really do feel like this will really, really minimize, eliminate the possibility of getting heat damage because it does not get that hot. That's what it advertises on the box, that it is fast drying, no extreme heat. And I'm telling you, it's like fine tuned so that it's just everything is going on your hair and it's just eliminate all that extra heat, all that extra tension, all that extra passes. Because I had even once I got to the front, I was just holding it and going down really, really, really slow. And I eliminated the amount of passes I had to do with it, even though it was no tension because it was just gliding right through my hair. So that's my tidbit on this. So anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. I'm going to try my best to get back into the flow of posting regularly. I'm, I post consistently on Instagram. And I have other things I have going on. It's, it's, it's hard for me to uh, stay consistent. I get burned out real quick. But yeah, subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.